Okay. Highway. Highway uh, LED lit stand up targets. This here is a target I took out of uh, Xeno on the left of a game I'm going to do these switches in. I'll make a video of it. This here is a brand new target. This is a newer revision. It's got squash squashed back on the rivet so that it can't come anywhere near the SMD, the um, LED RGB there. Switch is good, so this is a good part. I can use this for a customer. I've got a couple of customers that got Alien. And um, this is the updated revision, so it's got the radius on the top. This one here is at the sharp edge. So for anyone that doesn't realise, you've actually got left and right. Left and right so that it will miss your jaw. Put them in the wrong sides, or you put one from where it's not meant to, you're going to have problems with clearance on your jaws. So I go that way around. So I can use this for a spare part on someone's left, but I'll have to remove this part here and use that. So that's a good part. We're going to use that just an example of the later revisions and some things that changed. Squash the rivet, curve that. So this is out of an older highway. Well, this is uh, out of number 65. So, and I'd say that's still the original. She's had a few players a bit dirty. So we'll clean that, pull it apart, take this switch off because this one is uh, sketching. It's half and half. It will reach a spot where it's intermittent, so it's almost constant. The head's fallen out of it. It'll reach a point where it um, half goes and half doesn't, and then um, you can get ambush multi ball start boom straight away in the shooter lane, or we got the ball trapped, uh, or, or you know, knock down some APC targets or something, and bank resets, and bang, next minute you've started multi ball because this switch is sketched out. and Sometimes you hit it and it wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, sometimes you hit it wouldn't work. But anyway, we got the cable on here. Uh, last, uh, last game I've done this, the other game I've done this, I've made a new cable and two of the wires just went to the switch instead of cutting up, I don't know, cut up cables. No, I cut up. This time I'm going to do something different. I'll try something else. Here's a write off. This one's got the LEDs dead. LEDs dead and the switch is also dead. So, it's a write off LEDs, you know, you put a new one on, but, so, if we get this thing to focus, come on, focus the thing. There we go. Right, so we can see that this side of the switch goes to, and I've marked it with black, that goes to, goes to that pin, the second one from the right, and this side of the switch comes along the edge of the PCB, comes to this one on this side of the switch. So we've got the first one on this side and the second one in on the other side, and what I'm going to do, so I've got these fine insulated copper wires, and I'm just going to have a go with this one and see if I can't with the soldering one that I plan to use can't solder that onto there and another one onto this one and then I'll put some hot glue on there and I'll have two tails to put on this which is this is an old Dart East um, tree bank I think it's out of the turtles so one of the blades broke off it's, you know all right, we're going to use these blades so the way this is we'll have to cut this head off, cut the head off, just where the radius starts probably, we'll use these parts, this whole stack, in, no not that one, in, the, uh, in this, alright, so, we'll get rid of all these transparent parts, and we'll just put all of that in there, except without the target face, and this target will just sit in front, and we'll have some wires off of here because uh, I'll use this one because the LED still works. We'll get rid of that SMD and uh, I should be able to use that except I've just bent it which is a mistake pulling it out to show, show you guys that. So 
switches cactus, we'll get rid of the cactus and we'll put cactus switch and we'll put one of these in there and we'll see if we can't show what goes on. So this is just, I might do a quick test on here. Check my soldering abilities to be able to get that fine with the crowbar that I've got. I've got, a, I've got small soldering irons but this is my old faithful when it's kind of a bit of a crowbar, crowbar for the job. Yeah, I should be able to pull that off. I'll turn that on now. We'll have a bit of a test go at it. So, um, uh, this here is a uh, full throttle three bank. Somewhere here, there's an example of. Uh, and that's the other end. This one here. This one, the rivet actually contacts the SMD before it even gets to the phone. So, flatten the rivet. So they flattened the rivets, but we're going to need a flat rivet. This this head also loose, so we'll, I'll wash it, see if I can't get the rivet to tighten up, and we'll see how we go with that. But this is the rivet problem, which, so that'd be, that's a good switch otherwise. This one here, as you can see, the middle one's gone. Use it for a part. Use it to replace. So you just put it all on that back, so the back stays the same. And uh, see, this one doesn't quite. This one's just okay, just by chance. If it had killed over the other way, like this one did, then you'd have something that is just going to smash your LED, right? So. That was just an example, it was when the stand-ups ran out a couple of years ago because everyone was ordering them and there was only Highway, um, I ordered a couple of these for stand-up switches. Yeah, alright, so that's that, we'll start maybe pull that apart. Breaking the PCB or damaging it. Yep, there we go. So, yeah. as you can see, the dick's had, its, had the dick. It's had the dick. Oh, look, there we go. So, what's actually inside of there? I think it's a bit dismal. Yeah, it's just a bubble switch. Click, click. It really can't handle it, so it's come apart. The amount of force is... It, it's meant for a tactile finger switch with a straight rod pushing it where you push your button and, as we know, you know handle with a finger press. And even a hard one, but in a straight line. These are getting push sideways and the more it flexes it pivots on it, it presses it and then it pivots on it it doesn't actually just push it straight so what it's rated for on paper mm. but it's having other things done to it so the thing will be getting that off without making a mess of this surface mount stuff here should be alright I've got them off before the solder that takes a bit to melt I'm not going to have, I'm going to have a go at soldering onto that after. I'm going to unplug this. So, that's the one we're going to fix. Right, um, button fell out of it. There we go.
probably clean that up with a bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol. That should be fine. Clean off the flux. Right, that's that gone, that's that off. Okay, so that's it. That's. I guess all, all it needs. Uh, so, uh, just a tin spot going on the back of each one of them legs. Come on, you silly camera. What? That's it. There we go. Right, so, dob on each one. But that's the reject, so that was a practice run. What I'll do is um, put some of these. Some of these on there. basically good for a connector or maybe put a new I don't have surface mount soldering gear so for me it's pretty much had it yeah we want uh, this one here I don't need I don't need to mark them I know which ones they are I'll just check that it's the same circuit layer it should be same one, right? Duh. Duh. Okay. Put a couple of dobs on there like we did with the other one, except this time put wire on there and then there's no need to change this. We can leave that as it is because we've actually changed the back of the plug. So and then after after doing this I'll put some hot glue. That all um oh, look that needs a clean. Look after me soldering on.
Sorry, just clean, giving the solder and all a bit of a clean. Not the time to get the DTs, jeez. Soldering iron's cold, what's going on? Oh, what a douche. Turn the soldering iron off. Idiot. Heh. <laughs> so anyway, that explains that. Give that a minute to warm back up. Now, um... Uh, what else? I'll go and give this a, I'm going to give this a little bit of a clean up and see what we get when we get back and uh, also going to have to get this off of here don't know how easily these are a bit of a tight fit uh, yeah. there's ways of tackling this like that on there this on there. So we've got one at the front and three behind. We're going to put this target blade in the other stack. So this is just a drill in a vice that's got a bit of weight to it and then a socket to push on the back of the stack all right tap tap Just like that. Right. so we won't need that again until we pull that data east stack apart and press the pause for a little while We'll go and give this a wash. All the tea in China. That came up a lot better. This will be all right. What's up in there? It's on the. That's on the outside. That's on the outside. From where the ball's been bashing it. I think. Where's it on the inside? Oh no, it is on the inside. Did I miss? Give me a sec. So that target, that cleaned up all right, that, that can go back on, I'll just get a um, bit wobbly. And the rivet's got to be squashed anyway, the rivet's sticking out. So, uh, let's see, 
do this again perhaps. Position that on there, like that, and then I've got a big hammer, a little big hammer, a little steel hammer. I have to move this out of the way to do it because I need to not bash the camera. Yeah, that should be enough. I think. I don't think that's going to hit the SMD. That's in far enough. So I don't need that. So, just giving that a bit of a bash, so that yeah, you know, it doesn't stick out anywhere near as far, and it shouldn't actually be able to get to the SMD uh, LED. And it's clean. So we'll put that back with that, that's that, that and that, those there we won't need. Switch is gone, got some wires. We'll start making a collection over here, we've got a tube. Where did the other tube go? Oh, oh there it is. It's, uh, so, I'm not sure which tubes we'll be using just yet, but the soldering iron's hot, so. We'll use that to do this. Yeah, I shouldn't have so much trouble this time. Fix up my solder and line again. Piano man, sing your song. Alright, let's see how we go with this. Hot now. That's it. You're done. That's all we wanted. Don't want to get it too hot. Don't want to get it too hot. There we go. This focus has been a bit of a pain. Anyway. Get this in just the right spot. One hit. That's it. Another one. Trump's a short one. That one. Let's get the shorty and line him up. Try and get it as much on target as I can and then sorry if the focus is going in and out oh I nearly missed but I think that'll be fine it's enough This camera is really giving me a pain. Mm, if 
I try and fix it, I could make it worse. That's an example of borderline. I slip to the side. I might try and make it better. I'll try and make it better. It's going to be too hard. Famous last words. All right. Let's go. So we go again. That's better. It's on there. Yep. Right, that's enough for the solder on for now. Remind me I turned it off. Turned it off. So one of these is a bit longer. I might make them both come out that way or actually that way. What way they're gonna come out. Yeah, the face that comes out the front. Yeah, there we go. So decisions, decisions. It probably doesn't matter. Either side. Now this is not something, this is not something that I've done before, this is something that I'm doing now because I think it's the way to go. Right. Actually now that I'll turn that gun off, turn the other gun off, substitute one gun and then we pull apart. So just a bit of hot glue to um, Make sure they don't break off. Yeah, they'll be fine if they don't get the vibration all going on. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to pull this apart. We just want one of them. We just want one. Spanner. We'll take this one off again. We'll use that. The rain's going to fall on you. Storm's coming. Dart East, hey, block tight. They don't fall apart. Some guards, and other part, other regards, they just fall apart. So, yeah, don't need that. Don't need those screws. I don't think. Yeah, we don't need this blade. We don't need this blade with a diode on it. That's going to come out, and we also don't need this front blade here. This front blade is going to be a target blade. It's going to be this here. We're going to put that in there instead of the front front blade there. So we need to. Hmm. 
probably go one way first and get this out. Because we're going to leave this one here. Actually, hot, hot glue gun's hot. Let's do this. gun off. I'm just going to put a bit there to hold it so it can't get knocked out of place and to stop it from vibrating. I think that M1's done enough, it's covered it. got it. It'll do. Alright, so I'll plug that, I'll plug that soldering on back in because we want to run. Um, yeah, I'm operating out of cord so I can work on this bench here instead of on my workbench. Because I normally wouldn't really work where I'm working here. But, Got that taken care of. That done. Soldering iron's heating up. This should be uh, the strings off. So, hope I didn't go too far with that. It should be alright. If not, I'll just trim it off with a with a knife carefully. So those will be two wires on the switch blades. And the switch is gone. So now we're going to install this back into the framework. Alright. Yeah. But with these parts. So, put that to a side for a minute. Get this here back. We'll knock this front tab off so that we can get these two. I'll cut this, put it back on. Or I can cut it on there, perhaps. I can cut it on there, because I don't want that target face. We'll get damaged by the grinder when I cut across here. And we'll keep that. And we'll get rid of this blade here and install our new front. So what I'm going to do is uh, put that that way up. And get my socket, which is here. Put that over there. And I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go too far with it. I'm just going to go... Enough. I'm just going to go the wrong way. Oh no, the right way. I was right. Oh, that's the uh, Loctite. I was thinking there's another tube, double tube. No, it's just the Loctite. So, geez, I was lucky. I guessed the drill here, and I've just picked just big enough drill. Any smaller it would have been no good. Okay, so now we've lost now we've lost this one. And we're gonna use that bake light again. I'll throw that away because we don't want that. Those two will go back together. We're gonna to put this. Trim this. Let me go and find my isopropyl. Isopropyl, give that contact a bit of a wire.
Tijuana. A bit of isopropyl. And then uh, soft paper towel. This switch has had a lot of work off to the side. Off to the side. A lot of jobs on the side. The target hasn't been lined up, so it's been wearing out the gold plating. It's been wearing out the gold plating just on one side. It's not. It's not perfect. We'll see how it goes. I'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. And we've also got the other half to it. There. Bit of ISO. Nothing harsh, nothing harsh on these, not harsh at all. So, um, get this right as we go back together. This way around so the contacts face each other. Get that under that. Yeah. This is this side because the PCB is going on this side. And we're putting Yeah, we are. We're putting one out of the four in front of the target. So that's uh, what's going on here. I was going to unsolder that, wasn't I? I might do that first. Unsolder that and that. And we also want to get this one out after. See how easy these are to get out or not. Oh, I didn't turn the soldering iron on. Alright, that's it. I'm going to solder this. I'm going to bash this one back together. Sorry, I'm not uh, really that uh, good of a singer. Yeah, we're on a winner. We get, we're going to get it. There we go. Get that one in. The other one should just go. Look at that. I'll adjust that switch and I might actually, I think I can safely do that now. I can give this a tweak and it's easier at this time because I want it more sensitive. I'm going, to give that, I'm going to leave that tweak and the rest of that until after we've put it together, I reckon. Because uh, it may change just a little bit. Next we want to uh, get this bottom one off. So that's going to be bashing it that way. So I'll put that back on there. We'll go beyond where we went. we go the other way. It's time to go the other way.
Grab my wing there. Run this one too. Black and blue uniforms. Peace and peace. Now that can just go straight back on, straight back on there, because all we want to do is get rid of it. Press a bullet in the head. Septic There we go. Now we just done. There we go. Now we'll just unsolder these. Soldering on hot yet. And that's his too. I don't know about you guys there, but we got a Banana Republic here. Just saying. Half the people can't see it though. And half the people who can see it can't see what to do about it. Because they've been brainwashed. Brainwashed. Stab you in the back, yeah. Laugh it at your face. It's a pity nothing's changed. Changing now. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Gee. Alright. I do know that these tabs are going to have to be bent up so that they'll miss the connector. Alright, stuff it. Turn that back down the way. Oh god. Now, that PCB is going on the back of there. So, these tabs have got to bend up. You know, just a little bit. So, um, Now, I do have to trim off a little bit of this hot glue. I'm going to get my knife. Don't need this uh, just for now. That's surplus, that's extra parts. Sorry, I can't get this on the camera, right at the edge of the table.
little piece off carefully without getting to the PCB. Oops, the way around. So now we'll be able to get that on there. And I will send that through half the thickness of that. Half the thickness of that bake a lot. Get this back up here. So push this back through so it can locate so it can locate on the not all the way just halfway through that you know, halfway through that piece of bake a lot so there's half for the PCB you know. Tap, same here. Remember that one only took a little bit. They're getting looser. So now it's here. stack. Once we get a backing on there, uh, so now all that happens is you put these onto there and this here is um, as you were. So there you go, we've just put a backing blade in here and a switch. Left the PCB there and got rid of the surface mount switch. And we've still got our LED here. And we'll put these backings on so that's just enough to hold itself together. We've got our two wires coming out from the uh, hot glue in here where they're soldered onto the back of that connector on the board. Our SMD is gone. Now we can get rid of this, I think. We don't need that anymore. Get this the right way around. Which is where, okay, yes, yeah, see, learn something new every day. So, has this one got, ah, uh, yes, this one too, there's radius at the back. So, there you go. I'm learning as I go along too. Didn't think of it. There's why the two holes are there. So, you can put this the other way up for your left hand, your right hand. Boom, boom. So, if you buy these stand ups, not sure if you're meant to get left or right handed, but I better put this back together the right way, hadn't I? Uh, where's the other one? Right there. So I had a left hand and a right hand. So it has to go on this way. It has to go on this way. Okay. That's it. We're going to put our heads through from the front. Uh, on this plate. There we go. That's it. So this one goes... Uh, through there pretty sure that's it we've got it right. very like another when you head down over your pieces brother
among the purest. Instead of uh, these here, which had that and the Loctite, so I'll save them for some other stuff. So we got this right, have we? Yeah, we got that right. Okay. Can't touch, can't touch the SMD, and you can put padding on this top part where it hits the metal. So you put a cushion on there so the top of the target hits a bit of a cushion. Gets mashed in the end, but it gives it a bit of a instead of a clunk, makes it hard, making it hard. All right, now we want to um, adjust the switch. Actually, I'll finish tightening this up. Get this tight first. Get this tight. And, uh, say fair's fair. much what we want that's pretty much what we want so just need to do some switch adjusting I don't want it too sensitive, but I don't want it. See, I kind of messed up. I'm going to undo it again because I want. 
I've this blade against this blade so that it contacts straight away and I sort of can't oh actually maybe I can I'll have to do a trick do a, do a sneaky trick don't do this at home I don't recommend it yep no it serves me right it didn't work because these blades are made out of crap because them blades are made out of crap Preset it. Made a boo-boo. Go backwards. Go back. And also I'm going to tap those tubes through so this LED plate stays where it's bloody told because it's giving me shit a little bit stay on there. So I'm going to because I want this off too. I want this off. See, this one's soft, it's malleable, this here. Uh, probably good because it doesn't, it's not going to snap as easy, but uh, yeah. Once, it, once you pull it out, and don't pull, don't pull out, out on your target, because if you pull out on your target, you can, it's going to be, it's, that's it, it's going to be over. So, don't pull out on your target. Let's put this like that. Stack up. And put this one on there. Do do looking out my back door. That's it there. That's it. Kind of is it. That's better, right? Haven't balls it up quite as badly this time. Tip your hat at the sun. Classic song, this. I should turn it up.
Certain way. Right, that's looking better. I like it. Um, now we just need to get that bottom leaf. That's it. Oh, that's going to be sweet. That Zeno is going to be. So you can see, it doesn't hit at SMD. LED and we can put something at the top just in this couple of millimeters there or you could put a big block the other thing is a block behind in the cavity above the LED and the LED shines down so you can put your foam on that whole top piece and have it go behind behind this edge so it cushions against inside of the target but I just put I, I just put high density uh, four millimeter wide strip stuck to the top a bit like some of those we got there are we like this this here what's on the full throttle three bank that's basically what I put on the top of the other one just to cushion when it hits that end instead of hitting on the metal and that gives you that little bit extra leeway as well so that's that's uh, there you go highway tight for the switch Highway target there and a switch out of a Data East Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the stack. So it's clean, nice, and the head's firm. Done the rivet up, just straightened it up there, it was a little bit off, off center. And you've got your SMD. And a blade switch. Might be said a little bit sensitive, but one down, three to go. All I have to do is put these under there. So I'll do that. I'll flip the solder on. I'll solder on his back on. Beauty. Now we're going to. Uh, how are we going to send these? 
not go under with that one. Under with that one. Just loop it around so it sits on top. Poke it in the hole. Try and poke it in the hole. Uh oh, that's what she said. It's not cooperating. Mum. It's not playing nice. That might have to do for this one. Don't complain about my soldering. Tuck that there like that. So that's out of the way because hopefully that will never break off when I finish doing what I need. So that would be connected and no alteration to the wire brace at all. All we've done is remove the SMD. And uh, do that. So in a minute I'll put this back in the game and show you. Hopefully it works. Uh, touch wood. I'll we'll plug that back on there just to make sure I don't get hot glue all inside of that because I'm going to hot glue this here so that the vibration can't break my switch contacts off the same as it might if I just leave them blowing in the breeze like that. The hot glue gun I'm going to take the warm up. Little while. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Oh, I did forget. <clears throat> I did forget that it doesn't need it. I was going to round this off. But since the head on this game is modified. That's pressing that hard with my fingers together against the metal. It's got yeah, a good amount of gap there. It's not going to crash into it, so that's all we want. And the switch has got gap. So you should be laughing. So this one here. made a mess of it. Let's see. Cheer up. I just do want to do one little more bit to see. Right in here like this. So there's no Woodrow wobbles going on. Uh-oh, we shouldn't have done that.
Pero ve. A crash course in uh, converting your crazy backwards target into a leaf switch, which is what they should have been to start with. I don't know why they would even bother to make. Oh, where is it? That thing. This. This here. This is a whole new PCB. It only need to be the same as the sling ones. Sling ones with no switch. All of them. And then I can't for the life of me fathom why Pinball Brothers would replicate the silly idea on five more targets instead of going back to what works on the four that already have it. Anyway. I'll put that in. So, that's it. Three boards. It would be nice if that was like 10 or 11 uh, highway. But uh, Himmel Brothers did do something about that. Thank goodness. But this is where we're going. So... Pop that in there like that. Plug him back onto there. Plug him back onto there. You get the gist. But I'll uh, plug that back in and fire her up. Actually, no, I've been not fire it up. Well, it's like this. Okay. Okay. Emergency destruct system is now activated. And let's see. So we figured out we're not home yet. Let's see what we get. Skill shot awarded. Got the skill shot. That switch works, but it's had a hard time. That one works too, look at that. One xenomorph to go. There we go. So this is a lit. With Jesus, so much light you can't actually see behind there, can you? There you go. Do the right one, do the right hand switch. <laughs> 